Hey, what's up guys? Just gonna do a little different video. I already recorded this fucking, this intro, but for some reason my mic wasn't plugged in uh, the first time I did it, so just gonna be going over my drum set and what um, what's all done to the kit, um, all the cymbals and everything like that, so just wanted to go over it since I haven't done one in a few years. Um, like I said, I just want to record this um, again because for some reason the first clip did not have any audio for some reason, so um, we're just gonna go over to storage and I'm gonna show you guys what's up with the kit. Um, since I've gotten back into drumming um, as of late, so I just wanted to make this video since it's been a few years since I've actually uh, done one. I think the last time I did one was like maybe like four years ago, five years ago. I'm not really sure, but anyways, guys, um, back over to storage. We're just gonna go ahead and go over the kit. Um, we're probably gonna do cymbals first because that is the easiest. No, I guess we'll do the kit first because that's the easiest thing to do. Um, it is a Pearl Forum uh, five piece. As far as this other Tom, I just bought it off of uh, eBay. It's just a Pearl sound check. Um, 8 inch Tom. I did find a forum, um, I mean not 8 inch, a 10 inch. Uh, I did find a forum 10 inch Tom, but I got outbid at the last second. So kind of got screwed over on that deal. But I just wanted another uh, Tom to play because uh, I like having three rack Toms. But uh, we got a 10, 12, 13, and a 16 4 Tom. Um, once I change kits, I do probably want to maybe get another floor tom uh, 16 and 18 maybe I'm um, not really sure but um, decent sound of kit doesn't sound too bad it's got some uh, new heads on it so we'll talk about those after the drums but uh, 14 by 6 snare I think it is um, just got new heads on that also and I'm pretty sure the kick is an 18 um, it might be a 20 by 18 I don't really remember it's been a while since I've even looked at the bass drum but that's pretty much it for the shells um, like I said nothing too special they're just a, uh, I think they're uh, poplar shells, so, you know, nothing too crazy. But um, next we're going to talk about the heads, and then we'll do cymbals and stands. Um, so, as you can see, I have uh, Remo heads. I use the Remo um, Black Suede Emperors. So, got, like I said, all those. Just got them for Christmas, or just bought some for Christmas. And for the snare head, we got these... Uh, we got the Remo controlled sound coated, which is uh, probably my favorite head. I've been using it for, I don't know, a number of years, probably like five or six years. I've actually been using um, these same heads for about six years, so sounds pretty good. Need to get me some new Rezo heads also, but I also need to get some moon gels for the toms, just kind of dampen down um, the sound a little bit. So, But that's it for those. Let's talk about these cymbal stands that I got. Just upgraded stands here not too long ago. I actually bought like a three pack from somebody um, off of uh, Craigslist or not Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, so I bought three of them. So the first one we're gonna talk about right here is the one that has my symbol and my china on it. It's just a Tama, it's what I bought from one dude, uh, I think like $60. Um, it's the Tama Boom Stand, so it has the adjustability and you can you know turn it whatever way, plus it has a little thing so it grips better. But I have that for my 16, and then um, I have this little Gibraltar uh, symbol arm attachment that comes off of it, and just uh, holds my little 14 inch china, so. Pretty solid setup there. I just like having another crash off to the left, you know, just for off the right or, you know, just um, just to have it to, you know, kind of throw in the mix, so. The next thing we got is this ghetto contraption here. We have this uh, sound percussion, um, just boom stand, nothing too special there, but it has um, a Tama Fast Clamp that's um, holding, obviously, the 10 inch Tom, and then it has this little cymbal arm attachment, which is right here. Um, it's also a Gibraltar one, uh, just for my uh, my other splash, so. And then my um, my 12 Tom, I just have coming out of the bass drum itself. I do want to upgrade to a rack sometime. Um, probably, I don't know, probably end of the year or something, I'm not really sure, but for now this works. Uh, the next stand is just a, a cheap old, uh, I think it's like a sound percussion. Um, boom stand that has my other crash on it. Then it has another Gibraltar cymbal arm for my other splash. And then, of course, the uh, Tama Fast Clamp down there that holds onto the 13 inch um, Tom. So, then we got this stand back here for the ride, which is another um, sound percussion stand. Just a boom stand, nothing too special, nothing too crazy. Just holds uh, the cymbal, does what it's supposed to. So, and then the last one we got is just this uh, sound percussion uh, straight stand. So I've had that stand ever since I first got a set of drums. So I just need to upgrade stands sooner or later, but for now everything works. 
Um, and then the last one is just this shitty ass one that also came with my other drum set, which is a uh, Excel, as you can see. Um, Excel hi-hat stand, which is pretty much garbage and doesn't even work really, so. Definitely need to upgrade that um, also this year, so. All right, so we're gonna talk about these symbols. Um, I just recently bought a few used symbols to, to, to try to upgrade from what I had because uh, I had a little shitty setup before and I just started buying a few things because my china broke, so I bought a new china. Then it kind of inspired me to buy some more symbols, so I'm still looking to upgrade all my symbols to Minel, except for my uh, my chinas are gonna be stag, but. All right, so first we got this uh, Minel Soundcaster Fusion. 16-inch uh, medium crash, so it's the dual lathe. Got the lathe right here, and more of the raw on the outside. Bought it for like I think $100 on eBay um, because I did have another 16, but it broke. So I wanted to get another 16, so I decided to pick up the Soundcaster Fusion. I do want to get some more of these symbols, um, you know, like the bigger 18, and then uh, a few other ones. I'm not really sure yet. I was also looking at their 22-inch. Uh, I think it's a Soundcaster Fusion Ride. That uh, something I'd really like to upgrade to because it has the really nice belt on it. But next, we just have this little Agazarian 14 inch China, you know, just like a Wuhan, nothing too special. But uh, definitely want to upgrade that also in the future to the same kind of China I have now. But uh, right here, we have these shitty fucking hi hats, these Zildjian uh, 13 inch ZVTs, uh, bottom of the pawn shop. They're pretty much cracked on the bottom and everywhere else. So, like I said, I'm gonna be upgrading to some minor ones also this year, just haven't got around to it yet. But uh, Next one, I picked this one up not too long ago. It's a Mino MB10 Thin Crash 18 inch. So I do like bigger crashes, even though this is a thin crash. I, w I wanted to go with the medium crash, but I found a good deal on it. So it's for, it's good enough for right now to beat on. Then uh, next up, we got my two splashes. These are Wuhan New Traditional Series. Um, so this is an eight inch and a 10 inch. These are actually really nice symbols for the price and they do sound really good. And they're made from B20 bronze. so. If you're on a budget and you want something that sounds pretty good and warm, um, definitely check out the uh, Wuhan New Traditional Series. And then we have my crash that I use, even though it is a Wuhan New Traditional 20-inch uh, medium ride. So I use this for a crash because, like I said, I like to use big crashes. It gives me a nice big sound. Then we have this, uh, which is my first ride symbol I ever bought, probably like, I don't know, six, seven years ago. But uh, it's just a Mino HCS uh, ride. It was like $80 when I first bought it. So I was pretty broke. So that's what I bought. I just haven't got around to upgrading. Like I said, I was going to do the um, Soundcaster Fusion 22 inch ride, which I'll throw a picture in. Definitely sounds really sick and uh, looks really nice with a big bell on it. So I might actually do that. I'm not really sure. I guess it just depends on uh, finding one that's used or might have to just buy one that's new. But. Like I said, I want to upgrade all my symbols um, before I start recording at the end of the year. Next up is my China. Um, I originally was going to um, do Minel Chinas, but I've always wanted to try out these Stag DH Chinas, and I really, really love it. Uh, I picked this up at um, a store on eBay. I'm not sure who it was, but I originally paid for a 20-inch China, and apparently they don't make any more of those, and he sold his last 18 um, and his last 20, so... He said he could give me the 19 for the same price, so I, I pretty much only paid 120 for this brand new, and I think it's like 180 or 185 online um, for the price. So pretty much saved like 60 bucks, and probably been one of my favorite Chinas. All right, the last thing we're gonna talk about is probably these uh, shithole pedals that I have. I've had them since I first bought a kit. Uh, my uncle bought them for me for my birthday or something because he wanted to give me something, I guess. So. Uh, they're just pearl eliminators, so they're nothing too crazy. I do want to upgrade either to some Axis A longboards or some Pearl Demon drives. I really like those. So not really sure what I want to go with exactly, but uh, I mean they do the job, but I really don't like them, um, honestly. Just really need to upgrade, but um, nothing too crazy there. Then the last thing I'm going to show you guys is just the uh, the head on the bass drum, since I forgot to cover that. Just an Aquarian Super Kick. Really like it. It's really punchy. Um, I don't have any dampening in the uh, the bass drum right now, but I do have a, a Remo flam pad, so uh, doesn't sound too bad. Like I said, I'll probably do some drum clips right here at the end just so you can hear what the entire kit sounds like. But uh, I have one more thing on the front, which is my kick port, which I really love. So uh, I've had that for, I don't know, a number of years, five, six years. But definitely like that. But 
So that's pretty much the kit. Like I said, nothing too crazy, but sounds good for what it is. And uh, just trying to get back into drumming more. So I figured I would do this because I haven't done a tour in like, I don't know, like I said, five, six years. So I'm gonna get warmed up in here. Like I said, cause it's fucking freezing. Oh, also I want to cover my sticks that I used, which I just picked up. Right now I'm just using some Vic Firth uh, 5As. I was using these, just the black uh, Vic Firth 5As. Um, but they're kind of getting janked up and uh, everything. So I wanted to try some nylon tipped ones. I just haven't got around to it yet, but that's pretty much the whole kit. Like I said, just bought all the new heads and uh, just been upgrading symbols here lately. So trying to upgrade everything at once to all minor stuff because I really love minors. So maybe I'll do one at the end of the year after it's all set up in my studio at my house and uh, we can do better uh, drum covers and all that shit because I'm gonna have mics and uh, everything all mic'd up and everything you know good to go so thanks for watching the video guys like I said be sure to uh, check out some more uh, drum covers if you guys don't follow the channel I do uh, more like music uh, breakdown videos and shit but I do like to do covers I'm working on a cover right now which is what I came over for to practice the song anyways guys I'm gonna get my uh, my tripod set up and go ahead and Give you guys a little sound test of what the kit sounds like overall. Um, and uh, that'll pretty much be it. So thanks for watching the video, guys. And I uh, hope you enjoy the drumming. And uh, see you guys in the next video.